Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, today is Tuesday, the 29th of January 2013. I'm sorry, I was supposed to film yesterday, but I came down with the flu and I couldn't even go to school. Uh, probably you can still hear it in my voice. I've been drinking tea like crazy. So I have uh, 10 minutes more? No, like 8 minutes more. Not actually like 10 or... 12 minutes more to leave the hostel because I have to catch the bus to my class. This week, uh, I'm going to be in the cardiothoracic department again. It's interesting because I would like to be a cardiologist in the future, so I like it a bit. Um, I don't know what we'll be doing today. I mean, as usual, we're going to be in the operating theater, but apart from that, I don't know what cases we're going to be doing. So. Very great to see. Ah, uh, my room is a little bit unkept because I don't know. <laughs> I'm a lazy person. Uh, if not, I'll just show you a little tour of my room. I live in the student hostel. It's like um, I don't know how to describe it. It's a room, but there's a bathroom and there is a kitchen counter where you can put your stove on. There is this uh, sink washing plates and all but you have to get your fridge you have to get your microwave and you also have to get your stove and other things they only give you the room a bed uh, a table chair and yeah that's it so nothing much and you can decorate your room any how you like you can put in a rug you can change your curtains have really ugly curtains. I've been thinking of changing them to green. I'll just show you my curtains real quick. There they are. Very ugly. So yes. And uh, yeah on the table I don't know if you noticed uh, there's a piano. I'm trying to learn how to play, play the piano. Apparently not easy. I never thought instruments had so many technicalities to them you know. So many things. I thought all you had to do was just pound away on the keys and voila, there you go. But it's difficult. And I haven't had the time also to practice and continue my lessons. I have a private teacher that comes twice a week. But it's been over a month now. I've been so tired. I've been so busy with work and school and all that. Yeah, so uh, when I'm ready to go out, I'm going to take you out with me to the bus stop. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to vlog between classes because I cannot take the camera with me to the theater. But I would let you know about the case or cases when I, came, when I come out of the theater. <sighs> Sorry, you might think I'm looking upwards. There's a mirror in front of me, so I'm just trying to <laughs> give myself a little last check before leaving the room. Oh, what else? I'm um, yeah, sure you could. People, you can check out my video, the video I made on keratosis pilaris, because I have the condition. So if you want, you can check out the video on my channel. And let me know if there's anything more you like to see, apart from me vlogging my boring day-to-day -day life. Uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing much. Guess you've never seen me with a friend. Uh, most of my friends here, not most, all of my friends here, they're also medical students and we'll have busy, different schedules. So we're not in the same class, we don't have the same timetable, so I rarely see them. Except one of them upstairs, she comes here from time to time. Shout out to Augustina. Uh, yeah, that's it. Basically, um, as I said earlier, as I said in my earlier videos, I routine day from day to day is just sleep wake up go to school go to work come back try to catch up with what i learned that day and like that for five days in a week in a row and weekend it's nothing much i don't think it will be that interesting to vlog during the weekend except i'm going somewhere maybe going to the mall then i can vlog apart from that nothing much is happening to me in the weekends it's just i sleep in I wake up really late and when I wake up I try to clean a little bit, try to cook something 
and on Sunday I do my laundry that's just that nothing really interesting uh, yeah okay outfit of the day <laughs> I'm not really a fashionable person this will be boring okay so um, I just turn you to the mirror so I'm wearing a sweater a gray sweater and a pink t-shirt on it because it's the winter and you have to layer up so uh that's gray sweater pink t-shirt and jeans just a pair of black jeans and if you can see my socks yeah it's my socks i'm gonna be wearing it with either the winter boots or the sneakers i don't know which one i'm gonna do yeah so that's it that's the outfit of the day nothing much to look at because <laughs> when i get to the hospital i'm going I'm just gonna remove it and change into my scrubs so and also I have to go to work today later <clears throat> I mentioned in my earlier videos that I teach also so it's like an hour and a half and I don't need to dress extravagantly <laughs> just for students so yeah um, okay so I'll catch you when I get to the bar, so when I'm about to step out of the house though, okay? Thank you. Bye. See ya. <clears throat> so I'm stepping out of the hostel now. And, uh, yeah. I should be at the bus stop in the next, let's see, mm, five minutes. <laughs> it's not far. Anybody that has walked with me from here to the bus stop would know it's not that far. Should be given three minutes. Give or take. So, um, yeah, I don't know. If there's any videos you guys would like to see, they think it's very interesting. I think it would be interesting. Let me know. Uh, any vlog you'd like to see. And medical students out there, there is any. Thing. actually you like me to kind of uh, explain in a simplified way because I have problems like that too take for instance uh, the clotting system yeah I remember when I was in my pre-med years it's kind of difficult to grasp everything at once but someone posted a simplified explanation of it on YouTube and yeah it was easy to know so in case let me know all right yeah this is getting embarrassing <laughs> i'll see you when i'm done from class okay bye hi um, i'm pretty i'm leaving pretty early for the class because i couldn't stand it anymore I couldn't breathe i couldn't stand it so i'm going home this place killed me and uh yeah. I'm going to take the bus now. Okay. I'm gonna take the bus now home. And maybe relax a bit. And try to study whatever I'm going to miss in class now. Maybe watch a video and study something. So, yeah. <clears throat> Can I tell you, the surgery being performed was uh, on a 60 year old woman. She had severe aortic stenosis, and due to that, she had a um, small chamber of the left ventricle. So, you're gonna implant an artificial valve. And also probably some myotomy, cutting out of some some of the excess muscle in the heart. That would have been interesting because that's like a very rare surgery. Not very rare, rare, but never seen surgery like that be performed. Would have loved to stay, but I was so ill, so ill. So. Uh, 
you've watched my previous videos, you would recognize this way, way to the bus stop. And uh, I'll see you when I get home. I'm sorry, my voice seems to be my voice tone seems to be very low. I'm really, really sick. So I'll see you when I get home. Okay, bye. I just got to my hostel. I look like crap. Uh, that's my best friend here. Vending machine. <laughs> okay, this is the elevator, and I live on the elevator. Oh, yeah. And I look really horrible. Oh my gosh. I just want to crash on the bed. I'm so weak. And I don't have appetite to eat. Yeah, I'm looking for my key. Um, this place is a little bit dark. Sorry for that. Home sweet home. Um, so what's gonna happen is I wanna go to bed now, and uh, I'll see you guys later when I wake up. Okay, bye. Hi. Um, just got up and prepared, ready to go for work. Had a nice rest. Yeah. So I'll be signing off for now because uh, I'm in a hurry to go catch my bus. Um, have a nice week, be safe, and I'll see you on Friday or Saturday. <laughs> Till then, God bless you. Bye.